Hello, beautiful people of the YouTube. I am coming to you again today for another unboxing video. I just received the other day my Jeffree Star mystery box and I had to get a extra item uh, because, you know, I don't like paying shipping and handling, so I'd rather just get the uh, minimum to get free shipping. And I picked up my blood sugar mini palette. Oh, I love the blood sugar palette. is my first palette I ever got. And, ugh. So, I actually need a restocking of the palette because it's so old so to just get the mini is fine with me oh I can't wait to try the middle color wisdom so beautiful um, so I picked up this so that I could get free shipping on my box I got the deluxe box for a hundred dollars and yes I know I wasn't going to get it and I will tell the story very shortly if but first I want to do a little rant so if you don't want to see this rant that I am going to unleash because I am so frustrated right now um then skip ahead to when I show everyone the yellow box in view. First off, I was not going to get this spring mystery box from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I have enough products and from my Beautylish unboxing you can check out my video. I finally did get a duplicate of a eyeshadow palette and it broke my heart because it's one of my favorite palettes that I use. And I mean, I'm trying to sell it to a friend or a family member or I'm sort of like if no one wants it around here, I'm just going to keep it as a backup. But you know, that was a lot of money. And I said, I'm not going to do the spring mystery box. And I started watching the uh, boxes be unboxed and the spoilers. And I, my guess was correct when he was hinting that the green box was going to have everything green in it. And in fact, the blood money palette was in there and the blue box had the blue bloods palette in there with some blue items and I was like well what would the yellow box have what palette or palettes have yellow in them and there was only two that came to mind right away was the thirsty palette and the um Jawbreaker palette. So I did purchase the box because I figured one of those two palettes was going to be in it. And one of those two palettes was surprisingly from the spoilers in it. But as the spoilers started to trickle down, then I saw the negative videos coming out of people complaining of people whining about why well, I want my money back because these aren't exclusives. I don't think this is fair. I want makeup item exclusives. Wah, 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 wah. Look people, I just want to say that watching those videos and having a bad week like I did, I just am angry. Like We've been in a pandemic for over a year and makeup companies, newsflash, 
haven't been producing or launching a lot of makeup products. And that includes Jeffree Star. He is not producing 10 million new products left and right. ColourPop is not even producing a lot of products and that's saying something for ColourPop. And it's because the production has been put to a halt. It takes months, if not a year, to produce and manufacture makeup items. So when I hear people complain that where's our makeup exclusive item, I'm like, do you really think there's going to be a makeup exclusive item just because you've been whining about getting makeup exclusive items like where's my makeup where's my exclusive makeup item i'm a collector i like to sell them online for super expensive amount of money you know stop there are bigger things to worry about than products that are in a mystery box that you know darn well what you're going to be getting in your boxes but you still buy them and you whine about them afterwards when you see what's in the boxes i mean i don't i don't know i'm just and also don't give me that excuse that well i had i used my hard earned money to pay for these boxes and I expect to get my money's worth. No. No, you didn't. Hello, stimulus checks have been coming out in the United States for a month now. Everyone has money. Everyone. So don't say that it's your hard-earned money. It was the government who gave us money. Your tax return came in. That's extra money. It's not your hard-earned money. <sighs> My hard-earned stimulus check went to pay some bills and get some necessities. The rest of it is saved in my little bank account. I'm not complaining about this. If I didn't want to get it, I wasn't going to get it. Simple as that. I waited almost a week to get this box. So, <clears throat> hate people whining hate people that complain and want a free meal like I just it irks me and I'm done complaining and ranting about silly people worrying about stupid things when they should be worrying about bigger things in life I swear I don't know if I can blame my generation or the generations after for being such whiner babies but it is what it is so, that rant is over. Let me show you my mystery box. Yay! So, to all of you people who have fast-forwarded to this point, this box was the middle tier box for $100. I got the, let's see, 2X size. Um, I'm not ashamed of saying my size. I am a larger woman, so, and I don't want to get a t-shirt that is too small and I can't wear it. I love wearing his t-shirts and clothing items, so I get my size, and I usually get a size bigger because I like it to be loose and comfortable, and... Um, there are supposed to be exclusive items in here, um, and also, uh, shame on you, you itty bitty skinny winnies who order 3X and 2X boxes and then say, well, I'm not going to use the clothing items. I just got it because I knew different stuff would come in the box. Oh, that's why I can't find my size sometimes. But, um, my...
predictions of what is in this box, I already opened it with my boss, who I have converted into a Jeffree Star makeup fanatic. She just loves the makeup, and who wouldn't? It is amazing makeup products, I cannot lie. And she had to see what was in the box with me when I got it. Um, I was preparing myself for the one palette that everyone was getting who ordered 2X or 3X. But I will show you today very quickly that it is not what you think it is going to be. And I can say that the two palettes that I have not gotten yet in my Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette collection is the Thirsty palette and the Jawbreaker palette. I have been hunting for those for a very long time when I started getting mystery boxes from him. And I mean, I like the Orgy palette, but eh. So, open it up. Looks like this. You get a card with him talking about his new uh, 420 um, little lounge side project, which to each their own, you know, I am not those kind of people uh, who do that kind of stuff, but I don't criticize them either because, you know, sometimes at work, I really wish that the residents could get that kind of product in them and chill them out a little bit. Just chill them out a little bit. It's been crazy. Chill them out. And chill some of the workers, too, that I work with out. Chill out. Chill out. Sometimes I feel like I need it. Because I need to chill out. Uh, and right on top, we have the first exclusive, which are these adorable pins. And I'm sorry, I'm a pin person. I love pins. I put them on my bags, I put them on my coats, I put them on my vests and jackets. I love pins. I used to have what we called at my first job ever on my vest, 10 million pins, and that was our flair. If you know that terminology, pins being flair, um, from a movie, I like a little bit of flair on me, so I am definitely going to keep these and use them. I'll probably put them on my Jeffree Star pink hat that I got. Definitely, like, I might do the mirror, maybe, or hi, how are you? I don't know. I don't know yet. It's going to be exciting, but I really like those. If any of you don't like your pins, you can send them my way because I will take them and I will use them on clothing items. I am not ashamed of that. Next up is three individual eyeshadows. And when I showed my boss these, she goes, oh my gosh, he came out with individual eyeshadows. And I said, yeah, they're supposed to be put in a, what's called a Z palette. Because they're metal and you and it's a magnetic palette and boop, you can stick them in the palette. And pick your own color. And she goes, I can pick colors out of eyeshadow palettes that I don't have, but I just want that color. And I'm like, yes. She goes, yes. So these are all from the cremated palette my favorite palette that I have an extra of now. Um, I have Burial Gown, which is like a light, light, light gray, sort of dingy white cream color, matte mausoleum, which is one of my favorite colors, to be honest. I love this like antique gold, vintage gold color. Um, 
just all over the eyelid, wing it out with a wing eyeliner, mascara, bam, you're done. Love it. Um, <clears throat> and last one is life insurance. It's like a lighter charcoal gray color. Um, this one's okay. It is a matte shadow. It's a good blendable transition color. And next up is the exclusive, which some people claim is not an exclusive, T-shirt in the 2X. And I will open it up. I am excited because I looked at my Jeffree Star T-shirts the other day because I needed a night shirt. And lo and behold, my favorite one that I got um, a few if it was last Valentine's Day or the Valentine's Day before that it had the conversation hearts on it and I hate Valentine's Day but I got the box and lo and behold I've worn that t-shirt out shopping i've worn the t-shirt to bed i've worn the t-shirt just lounging around the house and it has gotten to the point where it is like destroyed and i am sad about that but i'm like i sort of need a new one and i am happy to get a new one i love his t-shirts are nice very nice material um I am definitely going to wear it. Yes. Yes. And I will say I am a little disappointed in the fact that I saw the spoilers of the uh, premium box where they had the like tie-dye rainbow hat. And I'm like, oh, what if we get a tie-dye rainbow shirt? Ooh. And it's black. But I'm not mad about it. I like black. I have much black in my closet. And I will definitely be wearing this. For sure. Not mad about it. Thank you very much for giving us this. T-shirt. It is great quality. It is. De I think they're worth like 30 bucks. 35 bucks. So... Would I pay that much for a t-shirt regularly? No, but I'm happy to get it in a mystery box. Uh, next up is uh, Drug Lord in the Velour Liquid Lipstick. And I already have this, so technically it is a duplicate. This is mine. I have put it, I got it in the um, fifth anniversary. Um packaging and mine's pretty much been used and it is a little getting down to the nitty gritty so I am happy to have a replacement because this is great for a white eyeliner for cutting the crease for making your shadows pop even more on the eyelid um, for lightening up your lipstick color um, to do an ombre effect. Like, this is my go-to Halloween white makeup product. And I am excited to have another one. I will not be giving that away. And my other... So definitely, I don't consider that a duplicate that I have. It's an extra that I will definitely be using and getting advantage of. But the only one other duplicate that I did get in the box was the uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, eyeliner from the Blood Money Collection in Resting Rich Face. And I already have it. Let me get mine out. It is here. This is mine because I know because I've used it constantly and let me swatch it. 
It is a like hunter army green color and I use this for my waterline. I really enjoy this um, eyeliner. It stays put and I am not mad at it. All right. Oops, I grabbed the other one of mine. Uh, this is the this is assets. My fault. Um, this is the army green lighter color than this. Um, but they are great eyeliners, regardless. And I will definitely be gifting that to possibly someone who likes makeup and will uh, take advantage of it. Uh, next up is the Diet Shane Lip Balm. I do not have this. I do have a few of his lipsticks now through Mystery Boxes. And that is what it looks like. It smells faintly... And I just love the packaging. Um, so I love lip balm. I will definitely use that. And uh, last lippy item is from the Nudes Collection Gloss in Pretzel Drip. I am excited for this because I got beaded glass in my um, spring beautylish box and I love that color and oh I'm gonna like this color too it's like a goldy beigey oh beautiful mm-hmm mm-hmm almost has like blue reflex glitters in it with some pink but that is a gorgeous I will be keeping that and when I opened this box up I was flabbergasted because she saw me sort of pull back a couple of the paper to see because like I said everyone who had a plus size box was getting the thirsty palette and I was gonna I was like I'm accepting that I need it so I will take it but so I got this and I'm like I don't know what it is and then I pulled back and I saw that and I knew right away I got the Jawbreaker palette. Oh my gosh. I have been wanting this palette, like I said, for a very long time. But it's so expensive and I jumped up for joy when I saw this in my box. I'm like, thank you whoever packaged my box and gave me a Jawbreaker palette instead of the Thirsty palette. I love you and thank you. Because, oh. Look at it. Oh, I am so happy. I cannot wait to try them. Um, cute is a little bit fallout. Um, I'm not mad at it though. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. So happy. So, so happy to get this palette. Where is my... got to put my shield back on there. I don't want it to get disturbed. So happy to get this. This makes the box. This and the t-shirt makes the box. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Now, I will say that I was hoping since I got the Jawbreaker palette that I might get a different lipstick bundle. 
but I guess I am just cursed with nudes. Yes, the nudes bundle, lipstick bundle. And let me see what all is in here. Skin Tight, Mannequin, Celebrity Skin, Posh Spice, Rose Matters, Gemini, Leo, and Androgyny. And I will say that one, I dislike Posh Spice immensely right there. That is not my skin tone whatsoever. Um... And I probably say that I will probably be using these four because they're pinkier, mauve undertones, and I don't know, maybe that one, but eh, I'm probably never going to use those. But it is a lipstick bundle, and I get to try a couple different colors that I've never tried before. So I am happy to try them out. And, you know, it's just just like me getting tons of gold green products. I guess the universe is telling me that I am just meant to wear nude lipstick. Got it in so many boxes that nude lipstick is just what I'm getting. So that is everything. <clears throat> I think I got lucky in my box. Like I said, I got some really good products. I'm not mad at it. Super happy about this. And super happy about the t-shirt. I will definitely be wearing it very shortly. And I'm not complaining. Um... Like I said, I knew what I was getting into when I paid for it. Did I get my money's worth out of it? Yes. Like I said, the gloss, beautiful, the um, lip bundle, eh, I can deal with it. Um, I got a t-shirt, I got the palette that I've wanted for a very long time, and I got adorable little pins! Ah! So, definitely, I got my money's worth out of it. I'm happy with mine. I hope that you are happy with yours. And, hey, if you want to trade a lipstick bundle, I will take any other color instead of the nudes. <laughs> uh, but I hate paying shipping. That's my calling. Anyway, if you like this video, it is a super long video. I apologize. I had to do that rant at the beginning of the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Like the video. Subscribe to my videos. And as always, everyone, be safe, be healthy, and have a great day.